just putting out or being on the line? Uh, you never know. Um, for me, it's, it's a good, it's a plus plus. So. You probably liked splitting out more when you first got here, right? Uh, yeah. Nice one yeah, I did, but you know, I got adjusted to it, so it's becoming a plus plus. For me. Like more. Yeah. I would assume that creates a pretty big matchup problem for yeah. the team. See, that, that's what you never know when you line up on uh, the line or outside. So. It's a, like I said, it's a plus for me. How has Shea's demeanor in fall camp been as a returning starter as a senior? I would say he's gotten way better in terms of leadership from last year. He's more vocal. You know, he's taking the offense by his, by his hands. And right now, we're just following, like, following the footsteps. So, you know, so, we're proud to see the was it a weird process for him last year, sort of coming in, winning the job, having to sort of galvanize the team all at once and sort of lift the eyes? Yeah, I, I would say it, it was a lot for him to um, take in, especially leading on a different offense than what he was before. So, now that we're back to the offense, he's, he's become a lot comfortable. You know, he's, he's, act, he's being himself in terms of throwing the ball. So. Was that something that clicked at any point last season, one point you remember, or was it sort of during the offseason and gradually? I would say offseason, um, especially, you know, getting him to do over the summer, you know, getting route times and stuff like that. But I believe he's done a great job so well, I mean, so far in terms of fall. Who's the toughest guy? Yeah, the toughest guy on the team. I don't say that dude, but uh, Aiden. Yeah, he's, he's a girl. <laughs> How, what, talk about the strides you've seen in him from a year ago when he came in as a freshman. Just strong? Yeah, he's way strong. I'm um, not saying he wasn't strong as a freshman, but he was, he was a big dude. You know, especially coming in, he was one of those dudes that, you know, didn't need to work on a lot, but he he always had the strength. Man. So once he got the technique down, it was damn hard to block him sometimes. But he's gotten much better, especially in the tight end position. Let's talk about Seth. You're one of his favorite players. Yeah, I got to sit next to him in um, the photo picture. And before he sat down, he said, you was handpicked. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> I was like, that was kind of a plus for me. So, you know, that's, that's my dude, man. Describe your relationship with him. What is the uh, we, we came closer, uh, especially him knowing my, my father. Um, he's always check, my father's always texting him, you know, calling me and everything, but just to check up on me. But he's been a, been a great coach and a great friend for me, too. <laughs> What have you seen out of these running backs? Uh, Charmin. That's a dude right there. For, uh, just coming, no, last year, not last year, but this year coming in, he was suffering. Um, and just to bounce back from that injury, it was amazing what he can do when he's capable of. So I just can't. <laughs> what is he capable of? Uh, out of the backfield, you know, making certain cuts. It's, it's unbelievable. It reminds me of CT, uh, Christian Turner. In terms of like speed wise or cut cutting cut, cut, cut. but other than that. Yeah. Do you feel like you're gonna get more targets in this offense? The way things have gone in practice? Uh yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, just especially like especially from the tight end position. I think we we're talking more just like talking a lot. Like, we're like you improved as a Being able to block gaps, being able to move dudes, um, you know, blocking is more of a moving dudes out of the way so the play can develop, but I became great at that, so 